that can't feed the people in power, that can't do nothing for the people in Pierce Village. Madam Speaker, in concluding, I want to say that I agree that to protect our future demands urgent and strong action. And our forefathers and the previous Labour Party administration fought hard to build a good country. And the UPP is fortunate. The people of this country and electorate have reposed their confidence in you, Mr. Prime Minister. The hard, sound work that have been put in by VC Bird and Lester Bird and the former ARP administrations, you are able now to inherit that. And I am saying, Madam Speaker, I have no problem, no difficulty in endorsing a foundation for a fresh start. But I'm saying it could have been done a different way. It could have been done a less harsh and punitive way. I'm submitting to my learned friend and honorable member for St. John's release that it's too draconian. And I'm saying, yes, we need a foundation for a fresh start. Yes, we need some kind of fiscal responsibility, but not the way that the IMF have dictated to you to do with this document. I share the view that we must be in a position, Madam Speaker, to paddle our own canoe. I share the view that this world is without much sympathy for micro-island states like ours. And we cannot, as a proud people, Madam Speaker, lie down and play dead. Our forefathers stood up. They faced insurmountable challenges, Madam Speaker. Challenges of colonization, challenges of poverty. They did not lie down and die, they rose up. They pulled themselves up by their very own bootstraps. They subsold, they educated their, con their children in this country and sent them to good tertiary institutions. They saved their money in the banks and they left behind us a prosperous country. So then I asked, this government, because you're the government for all. You're not just the government for the UPP. You're my government too. Whether I voted for you or not, he's my prime minister too. And I want to know, what is your vision for this country? What is your vision to take this, gov this country and to build? To build on the solid foundation that you've inherited. Where previous Antigua Labour Party administrations, Madam Speaker, preached a stable and prosperous environment. An environment where people in this country had big dreams and had confidence in fulfilling those dreams that those dreams are just not mind images but that those dreams can be fulfilled, Madam Speaker. I am saying to this Honourable House that yes, the Antigua Labour Party has committed errors along the way we were human and we heard. We are out of office, Madam Speaker. But I'm saying that we accomplished a lot. Stop dividing this country. Stop eroding the harmony and the peace-like atmosphere that existed in this country for three decades. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Prime Minister, send back your speech writer. He's preaching this harmony among the citizens. He's further dividing an already divided nation. Let us continue in love and peace and harmony with each other. And so we can achieve, Madam Speaker. We were aggressive and dynamic as a government. And I want to see this government do the same. Not simply for political gamesmanship. Not simply for political advantage. But always motivated. Always motivated what is the best in the interest for the people of this country. And that, Madam Speaker, I submit to this honorable